Hello, this is Terry Vanoy. Welcome to this video series. This is problem set two, and we've been looking at mixture algebra word problems. So you're given a situation where one container is added to another container, and you get a mixture amount, and then you know something about the amounts of what's in it. For example, this is oil, and uh, you'll laugh at me already if you haven't seen the previous videos. I know oil floats on top of water, so I should have switched my colors around there. But let's pretend it's really heavy oil, if there is such a thing. And you have a percent of an amount, a percent of an amount, and a percent of an amount. All right. The idea is to add the quantity of oil or sand or peanuts or um, fruit juice or whatever the example is. Um, the amount of that substance plus the amount of that substance equals the amount of that substance in the mixture. All right. So hopefully you've seen the previous videos, got an idea of how to write the equation and set it up. All right, I've got two problems for you to try, number seven and eight here, as you can see. Go ahead and write it out on a piece of paper and give it a try. Come on back, I'll show you how to do it. All right, number seven. Mike asks you to make 12 gallons of fruit punch that contains 85% fruit juice. That's our obviously our mixture amount when we're done. Okay, but we're going to get that by mixing together some sweet tropical fruit punch and some grape juice. How much of each ingredient do you need if the sweet tropical fruit punch contains 40% juice? Now, I'm giving you the answer, and if you worked it out and got that answer, congratulations. Let's see if you did it the same way I did. If you didn't get it, Hang in there and I'll show you how to kind of work through this. Now, first of all, sweet tropical fruit punch is 40% juice. So we've got 40% and what is the amount here? We don't know. Let's call it of X. Okay, so that's our first container. Now we're going to add that to, now it says grape juice and that's going to be 100% pure. We have to interpret that correctly. It's going to be 100% of now think about it we want 12 um, gallons altogether if the first container is X then we've got to call this X plus or sorry 12 minus X okay sorry if you can't read that that's 12 minus X first container is X second container container is 12 minus X because we want the total mixture to be 12 gallons all right a little twist on that one now let's go ahead and write it out in algebra, change your percents to decimals. All right, first of all, 40% of x is 0.40 times x, and I dropped the zero there. And then 100% of 12 is 12. 100% of minus x is minus x. All right, I did a distributive property there in that group. And then I took 0.85 times 12, which is 10.2 gallons. All right. So what we're going to do is, this is minus 1x, right? So let's combine the minus 1x to the 0.4x, and that's going to be minus 0.6x. Okay, don't worry about the negative sign for now. Plus 12 equals 10.2. Okay, just doing some simplifying. Now let's go ahead and let's subtract the 12 from each side. Now I could do this in opposite order and kind of avoid subtraction or negative signs, but that's all right. I'm going to have a negative 0.6x equals negative 1.8. So divide each side by negative 0.6. And now, of course, you can see that our answer will come out to be positive, and that should be x is 3. Now, that's the fruit punch. And remember that I wanted to have 12 altogether, so just figuring out logically, that means 9 of the grape juice.
three of the fruit punch and nine of the grape juice. Okay, I hope that made sense to you. All right, let's look at number eight and have you give that a try. Number eight, Farmer Jimmy's Produce Stand sells 12 pounds bags of mixed nuts that contain 30% peanuts. To make his product, he combines brand A, mixed nuts, which contain 50% peanuts, and brand B, which contain 20% peanuts. How much of each does he need to use? All right, well, here's the answer, and here's how you'd work this out. All right, let's call brand A 50%. Um, it's 50% peanuts, and we don't know how much it is. So 50% of X, all right? Brand B is gonna be 20% of, now we want a total of 12 pounds when we're done. So similar to the previous problem, it's gonna be 12 minus x for brand B. So if A is x pounds, B is 12 minus x pounds. Now what is the final result that we want? Well we want it to be 30 percent peanuts and so the peanuts in that mixture is 30 percent of 12. Alright so let's work out our decimals and figure this out using some algebra steps. Remember that the whole idea here is to have the amount of peanuts plus the amount of peanuts equals the total amount of peanuts. We're going to be focusing on peanuts in the mixture. So now we have 0.5x minus 0.2x, so that would be 3, excuse me, 0.3x plus 2.4 equals 3.6. Hopefully you're correct so far. Uh, let's subtract 2.4 from each side. And so 0.3x equals 1.2. We're going to divide each side by 0.3. You know, just some simple algebra steps. Uh, try not to get um, nervous about that decimal point because basically you can ignore it at this point and think of that as 12 over 3 if you'd like. And you can do that in your head, that would be 4. All right, so we're going to have 4 of brand A. Which would make 8 of brand B, because we know it's a total of 12. All right, well, thanks so much for watching this problem set video and the previous one. Now we're going to move on to self-quiz 1, self-quiz 2. We're going to be looking at unit price type of mixture problems and these liquid mixture problems. So give them a try, challenge yourself, and good luck.